Hello everybody, it's DMC3, and I'm here with my buddy Jonathan to talk about um, the book of Matthew, chapter 3. Yeah, I'm going to start reading uh, chapter 3 and uh, verse 1. In those days, John the Baptist came, preaching in the desert of Judea, and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. This is he who is spoken of through the prophet Isaiah. A voice of one calling in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. John's clothes were made of camel's hair, and he had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locust and wild honey. People went out to him from Jerusalem and all Judea and the whole region of the Jordan, confessing their sins. They were baptized by him in the Jordan River. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to where he was baptizing, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce fruit in keeping with repentance. But do not think you can say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. I tell you that out of these stones God can raise up children for Abraham. The axe is already at the root of the trees, and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptize you with water for repentance, but after me will come one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I am not fit to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and the fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing fork, gathering his wheat into the barn, and burning up the shaft with unquenchable fire. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. But John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do not, and do you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was open, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. So basically, um, in chapter 3 of the book of Matthew, um, repentance is very important. Mm -hmm. Was um, saying that repent, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's telling people to repent. And then there's a prophecy. A voice of one calling in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. So it's kind of prepare the way for, for the Lord and make straight paths for him. You, it's kind of saying um, get, your, get your hearts ready for God, you know. Mm -hmm. Repent and make... Yeah, make yourself ready, because the Lord is coming. And uh, would you like to explain repentance? Yes, um, I would that too. So, repentance is um, seeing sin as God sees sin. So, God hates sin. And if we have a better relationship with God, then we can understand how horrible sin is you know wanting to follow God only mm -hmm. yeah so not not wanting to obey your sinful desires but to obey God right exactly mm -hmm. but but we still we still do it because our flesh is weak mm -hmm. yeah but even our, though we don't want to yeah. but our spirit Stay strong. Yeah, it's our Within. spirit is willing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, John's baptizing, and uh, he's he's ta he's talking about Jesus who's coming. He says, "But after me will come one who's more powerful than I, whose sandals I'm not fit to carry." He's saying he's not even fit to carry Jesus' sandals. And uh, he's he says uh, he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. So Jesus is gonna baptize us with the Holy Spirit. He's going to give us the Holy Spirit, right? And also the Holy Spirit, we, you know, he's 
when we have the spirit in us, it's going to help us understand his word and uh, also make us more like Jesus. And after um, Jesus um, was baptized by John the Baptist, um, mm -hmm. he saw the light of God. Yeah, there, there's uh, the spirit descended like a dove on Jesus, right? And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting on him. So, the Holy Spirit comes and descends on Jesus. And then and a voice from heaven said, This is my Son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. So you see the, the Father saying, This is his, this is my Son who he loves, right? And then uh, he's saying that he's well pleased. So you have the Father... The Son and the Holy Spirit, all, all right here. 